Today, no place on Earth is immune from the effects of climate change. As the world awaits strong actions from our leaders, pioneering solutions are being embraced around the globe. Somebody's got to know how much electricity we'll need every hour of the 24. Why? Because electricity is a product that cannot be stored. It must be made the instant it is needed and used the instant it is made. Right now, the way the electricity grid works, it's a use it or lose it system. It means when there is a big spike up in demand, typically driven by air conditioning, someone's turning on a fossil fuel peaking power plant. That's just what they have to do. And it pollutes. This is not a fault of utilities. This is the nature of the electricity system. There has not until very recently been a cost-effective, reliable way of storing electricity, energy. The question that we posed was, what if you could make a battery made of ice? a battery that actually stored energy in the form of ice. The ice bear is an insulated tank filled with 450 gallons of water. As you can see, this is where ice is forming around these copper coils. And all these coils go down, and now warm refrigerant is gonna circulate through the ice, come out icy cold, go back up to the air conditioning, and that's where it's blowing this now icy cold air, not from the air conditioner anymore, but from this ice bear. So the two ice bear units that we've got here are connected to two air conditioners up on the roof, and it's just running the refrigerant through the block of ice, moving it up onto the roof, and effectively doing the job the air conditioners would have had to do. During our peak months, during the summer of July and August, uh, we'll see temperatures in 110 to 115 degrees, and with that, people want to be comfortable, and so they run their air conditioning. The ice bear units and other thermal energy storage equipment helps us to shift that peak load to off-peak hours. It reduces peak demand from that air conditioner by about 95%. It's significant. Storage has undergone a real revolution. In California in 2013, there was a decision taken to build the market for storage because we know from the climate equation that we have to cut our greenhouse gas emissions by 80% or more over the coming decades. The issue with renewables is that they're intermittent. Sun is on when it's on, but not when it's not. Same thing as when the wind is blowing and when it's not, it's not. And so the trick for the grid of the 21st century is finding the least expensive, most reliable, durable forms of storage. As a municipal utility, our number one focus is providing reliable, environmentally responsible, and as low-priced power as we possibly can for our community. Solutions are at hand. The time for action is now. The world is watching.